Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Team Black Sheep Power Cube. When I bought this it cost me around £125 plus delivery. So you might be asking yourself, what is a TBS Power Cube? In short, it's a racing flight controller with speed controllers and power distribution board. When I weighed this it came out at 70.03 grams. Its size is 36mm by 36mm. Here it is with the knees leaned up against it just for size comparison. The core target market for this is for anyone using a motor rotor of a size 120 up to 330. From the bottom up you have your power distribution board up to speed controller 4, 3, 2, 1 and eventually with your TBS Calibri flight controller on the very top. TBS is actually using the brass standoffs to distribute the power between all of the boards. This is the first time I've seen anyone do this and it certainly helps keeping the unit small. The ESCs are from TBS's Bulletproof series, which are capable from 2 to 6S, which comes pre-soldered with 2mm bullet connectors. If you wish to, you can desolder these and connect your motors directly. These 20 amp ESCs come pre-flashed with BL Heli 14.2. The ESCs are capable of pulling a current draw of 20 amps with a 5 mph airflow over them, a 30 amp constant draw with a good airflow over them, up to 45 amp bursts for 10 seconds. The flight controller's inputs and outputs are capable of PPM, SBUS and Spectrum. There is also one RGB LED driver port with regulated 5 volts, a GPS compass altitude port, a UART serial port, a piezo buzzer port, an infrared LED timing system for future use with race lap timing systems, and a servo output for tricopters. The power distribution board can handle a continuous current of 100 amps and up to 150 amps burst. It also has selectable 5 and 12 volt outputs both for camera and video transmitter. The power cube is plug and play with other TBS accessories. When my power cube eventually arrived it didn't come with the accessories you see here, they were actually forgotten to be put in by TBS. My cables actually arrived a day after the power cube. This is what the complete power cube package looks like. I've decided to add this to my Shendrones Krieger. I'll be doing this shortly after my tests of the Cobra 2204 2300 kV motors. So that's it for this quick look at the TBS power cube. Check in next time when we put this inside the Shendrones Krieger and take it through its paces. Thanks for watching guys.